All right, so is the new Speed IQ technology in these Ego lawnmowers any good? Absolutely not. It is not good at all. It is so bad, I would say, do not buy this. That's my advice, don't get it. And just to be you know, clear, I have three other products. I've made videos on them from Ego, their Snowblower, their Weed Whacker, their Leaf Blower, and I've been an Ego fanboy. I like those products, I think they're great, but this one, again, can't reiterate it enough. Steer clear, it's just not good. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This thing is jerky. Especially on hills, you can see the same spot in my yard every single time it had an issue. Um, I think it's just when you go uphill, the way you push it and stuff, it kind of struggles. And then what was really weird, the very first time I used it, as you can see here, just completely stopped for no reason. I didn't let go of anything, I was confused, but yeah, it just didn't work. So you're probably wondering, well, it's probably not that bad when you're not going up a hill, right? Kinda? I mean, it's very jerky, it's hard to see on camera, but it's like vroom, vroom kind of deal and like it'll catch you off guard. Maybe it's just me and I don't know how to use it right, but it was not very pleasant to use. You're going and then it'll just pull away from you and you're like, okay, and you're trying to get your rhythm down and catch it, but it just doesn't want to get into a groove. I think maybe if you had a lot of land and you speed walk, it could be helpful because you can kind of get in that higher gear and just kind of keep it there. But I can tell you without a doubt, it is not fun to use. All right, so not a big deal. As you can see me doing here, I can actually turn off the speed IQ and that'll solve the problem. The actual lawnmower that I've been using for years is a push lawnmower, it's a gas powered one. So not a big deal, just go back to how I've been doing it. But wait a minute, it is like really hard to push and I can't really translate this into a video. It's hard to like explain the jerkiness and show it to you. You almost have to feel it. But same thing with me like pushing it here, like it doesn't want to move. And I don't know why, like I this grass, you can see I've already mowed it. So I'm just pushing it in freshly mowed grass. So it's not even plowing through grass. And it is just harder to push than my gas powered one. Again, I can't really explain it, but here's my best attempt to show it to you. Alright, so the other problem I have with this lawnmower, ironically, is the other new feature, which is the uh, digital screen that shows you basically uh, how much battery power you have, and it is comical. Let me show you what I mean. We're at 66% right now. Let's cut some grass and see how quickly we lose battery power. Oh, there's 11%. Oh, sorry about the jerkiness. Let's get back to going normal. Alright, so 55%, eh, that's understandable, it's a little weird. Whoa, 45%? Dang, 30? 25? What? Wait, how long did that actually take? Let's rewind it, do it again. And I didn't speed this up in any way. It took 14 seconds to lose 41%. That's 2.9% a second, which might sound really, really bad to you, but no, 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 I can even beat that. Let's take a look at this one. We're going from 55% down to 20% in five seconds. That's 7% every second. Now, of course, I cherry picked these because they were the worst examples. So let me tell you what the battery life is really like. I actually mowed both my front and backyard one time, uh, kind of before the grass had really started to grow. And it went from 100% down to 80%. I don't actually know what the screen was reading because I wasn't paying attention to it. I was paying attention to the jerkiness and stuff. So when I started the second time, it started at 80% when I put the battery in and started mowing. I went around my backyard one time and by the time I got back to where I started, it had gone from 80% down to 55%. And then on that second pass, it only went from 55% down to 45%. And it stayed at that 55-45% for the majority of the time I was mowing my backyard until the end. And then that's where I got these shots where it's, you know, going from 
uh, 60, 55 down to like 20. It got down to about 12%. Um, and then I went and I was able to finish my front yard. So it's just weird. The battery readout on the screen is super inaccurate. If you'll notice, the actual battery seems to be more accurate with the amount of lights that are on it. And you can see when I let go of the handle, it jumps right back up to really high numbers. So it's just like, what's the point of having the screen if it isn't going to be very helpful? So there was that first time I mowed my lawn when it just stopped for no reason. And then other than that, it did uh, get overpowered, as I'll show you here. Which I'm pretty sure is just too much grass it's trying to cut through. That happens on my gas lawnmower all the time. I should have mowed my lawn earlier, but it had just been raining forever and wouldn't stop. So I thought I would clear out, you know, the grass and make sure it wasn't that. Tried it again, it stopped again installed, which I thought was weird. So I actually tilted it over just to see like was there grass gunked up on the sides preventing the blade from spinning and I didn't see that. Started up, used it again, worked fine after that, but just thought that was kind of peculiar and weird, wanted to show it. So I've seen a lot of other, you know, raving reviews about their Ego lawnmowers. So like I said, I'm going to hope and go out on a limb and say that their other lawnmowers are great, but full disclosure, I've never used them, so I can't really say. But I do like all the other features other than the screen and the speed IQ on this guy. You know, I think it's really cool how easy it is to fold up. You do that to do the bag, you do that to fold it up. And then the fact that you can actually like do this move and not worry about gas and oil going anywhere is phenomenal. I mean, look how that stores you do this move. And I mean, that's so awesome that you can do that with a lawnmower. It's a game changer because everybody can use more room in their garage and this stores up nicely for you. Also, it couldn't be easier to work again. You got the three different height levels, one, two, three, depending on your height, you can adjust, you know, the length, that sort of thing. So you can dial it in to your liking. I really love how easy it is to lower and raise the blade. You've got eight different settings here, which is awesome because, you know, everybody's gonna wanna dial it in. I like and I'm glad that they give you three blades, but if you wanna change it the way the instructions actually tell you to, you're gonna need a torque wrench. And maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like most people probably don't have a torque wrench. So it might be a little scary to do so, especially with extremely fast moving blades. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but just be aware of that. If you do get this and you do want to change the blades, uh, you're going to want a torque wrench if you want to do it the way the instructions tell you to. But again, very cool that they give you the three blades when you buy this. I mean, nothing too much more to say on it. It's like a lawnmower. But yeah, I wanted to make this video, get it out there because I know people are gonna be considering getting this lawnmower, maybe wanting to do some research, seeing if it's good, and my vote is, hey, uh, don't do it. Try another one of their lawnmowers because it's just more frustrating than anything. You know, I'm still an Ego fanboy. I think it's awesome that, hey, you guys did the research and development to try something new to really kind of revolutionize lawnmowers in general, but maybe you just invested too much and couldn't back out of the project and was like, ah, we spent all this time and money on it. Let's just launch it and see how it goes. Maybe a bunch of people will like it, but I think it was a mistake. I think you should have just uh, kept working on it till it got good or just canned the whole project with the speed IQ thing. Definitely let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm genuinely interested in what people have to say. And I appreciate you watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 yada. See you in the next one.